Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a different kind of video for you guys today. I'm going to be doing a kind of a first impression sort of tutorial for y'all using the Too Faced La Petite Maison. I'm just super excited to play with this palette, so I just went ahead and kind of got ready and did a little tutorial on camera with you guys. Um, and the finalized look, it kind of ended up being sort of like a smoky, plummy kind of an eye look, which I really like the finalized product. I mean, when I first sat down, I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do, but we're just going to make it up along the way. <laughs> but I like the way it all kind of like came together. So yeah, this is the finalized product. So if you want to see how to get it, then just keep watching. Okay, I'm going to start by priming my eyes today. I'm going to be using Urban Decay's Primer Potion. Now I'm going to take Max Painterly Paint Pot and apply that to the top half of my lids just to cancel out discoloration. Now I'm going to take my Maybelline Color Tattoo and Badge of the Bronze. Mine's pretty dried up at this point, and I'm going to apply that onto my lids as my base. Now I'm going to grab my palette. This is the La Petite Maison, and I just want to show you the packaging because this is so cute. I mean, the detail on this is adorable. There's even little, like, shadowy clouds. I don't know if you can see those, but adorable and I love that little dress I want to wear I want that dress in my size because that is adorable okay I'm gonna start with a blending shade so I'm gonna get some of pussycat because I want to make this kind of like I don't know what I'm doing I'm gonna make this up as I go but I kind of want like a rosy sort of a crease and then I'm gonna do I think kind of like a smoky lid that's my plan so I'm gonna take this pussycat and apply this into my crease in transition area I'm using a Sedona Lace EB15 brush for this So now I'm going to get some of Secret Lovers on a Delium Tools 772 brush and I'm going to apply this kind of lower on my lid, try to concentrate the darkest right along my lash line and blend that up onto my lid. really liking these shadows. I had a little bit of fallout that I had to wipe away, but not very much, so I'm liking them. So I'm going to get some of Jungle Love on a Delium Tools 781 brush, and I'm going to apply that into my outer corner just to deepen that up, but also it's got that kind of like purpley tint to it, and it's got some little pinky purple micro shimmer, so it kind of pulls in together that kind of like smoky color with the kind of purpley crease. I'm gonna take some of After Hours on a Sigma, mine's like worn off, but this, I think this is an F70 concealer brush. It's the one I've like worn out. I've used it so much, but I'm gonna apply some of this on kind of the inner half of my lid just to brighten that up a little bit. Like I said, I'm making this up as I go, but I want that a little bit brighter. Then I'm going to get some of Let It Snow for my brow bone. I'm using the Elizabeth Mott All Over Shadow Brush, but you can use whatever you have. And I'm just applying that onto my brow bone. And then if you feel like you lost a little bit of that purple, you can go back in that color. I'm actually now using a Sedona Lace EB09 brush just to add a little bit of this back in. Now I'm going to take my Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Colca Gel in brown and line my lower lash line with this. And then over that I'm going to take some of After Hours on kind of the inner half of my lower lash line and some of Secret Lovers on the outer corner of my lower lash line. And 
And then for my upper lash line, I wanna keep it pretty smoky and smudgy, so I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Black Velvet Pencil to tight line and then just kind of smudge this along my upper lash line, and I will do a little bit of a wing just because I like a little bit of a wing. Now I'm just gonna curl my lashes and apply mascara. Today I'm gonna be using the Prestige Total Intensity Beyond Lashes Dramatic Precision Mascara. Okay, so here is the finished eye look. So I've applied concealer, powder, and bronzer, so I'll list those down below. And now for blush, I'm gonna use my Too Faced Love Flush Long Lasting 16 Hour Blush in Justify My Love. That's adorable. And I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown Blush Brush for this and just apply that. It is pretty pigmented, so I'm gonna do a lot of blending. <laughs> I do this a lot if I feel like my blush is just a little bit too low I get my foundation brush and just kind of go around the sides of it because it kind of helps like soften and blend it I would say I do this most days <laughs> and then for lips I'm going to use Max Whirl lip liner and my Too Faced melted liquefied longwear lipstick in melted fig I love this color so much Alright guys, so that wraps up this first impression tutorial. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below if you'd want me to do more of these kind of videos, because I really enjoyed it. I thought it was kind of fun to just play around with something new on camera and do a different sort of tutorial for you guys. So I would love to know your thoughts on this set too. Have you tried it out? What do you think about it? My impressions on it is that I think it's super cute. I think the packaging is adorable, like all Too Faced packaging is. They always do such a good job with that. Um, the shadows are really nice though. They're really pigmented, they blend well. I like the way they all like came together in the finalized look. So I'm loving it. I think it's adorable and really, really nice. So I would definitely recommend it. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about it. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video.